Hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Plants. So today I'm going to look at two unusual tropical species, um, both of which I guess sort of change colour. One that changes colour due to the time of day or, or poss possibly the effects of uh, light and one that changes colour due to the structure of the leaf. So firstly we have this which is uh, Selaginella. So Selaginella is a sort of primitive fern ally so these date back from a time really before true plants. Um, so this is this is grows as creeping ground cover in, in sort of the Caribbean, Latin America, Selaginella serpens. So we are at quarter past 12 in the afternoon, so just after midday. Uh, and you can see that the, the colour is, is quite a, a nice sort of light green. I've got a little bit of glare from the light. Right? Um, and what happens is with this species at night, um, it starts to go sort of a white colour. So we're going to jump in a moment from now at 12 o'clock to later on this evening. And hopefully you'll see it go a much more whiter shade. And as if by magic, here we are at 5 minutes to 11 at night. And hopefully it should be much more obvious there is now a whitish tinge to the Selagin and Serpens. This is not editing or video trickery. I've actually seen it much whiter than this, but maybe it's something else affects it. But there we go, yeah. Salaginella that goes white. Salaginella serpens. Tropical species from the Caribbean. So, hi. So this is um, one of my small plants of Begonia uh, pavanina which is, has these iridescent leaves. So I'm hoping this is captured. It looks good on the camera. But if I, if I gently move the leaf, you should be able to see that iridescence, that blue color. Um, and this is to do with the cellular structure on the leaf, which is believed to make them more efficient in low light conditions. I think possibly, I have two, this plant and a larger one. I think the larger one got a little bit too much light it grows in my sort of um, tropical terrarium and uh, yeah I really think it does need quite deep shade I've now moved it to one of my um, sort of breeder tanks where I keep some of my Selaginella and some other stuff that I'm just trying out so I'm hoping it'll uh, recover and grow nicely but the smaller one of the two which is this one uh, really does show the show the iridescent effect quite nicely I've also got a huge number of cuttings of this plant. Um, I'm being quite successful in propagating it. Uh, so I'm going to propagate and, and pot on um, some more plants. And these will be probably be for sale or trade because um, it's quite a rare species. So this was grown from seed. Um, genuine seed, again, is quite hard to find. You have to you run the risk of getting dodgy seed from traders in China. So my seed came from a, a grower in France. I paid quite a lot of money for a small number of seeds, uh, of which I think about the 10 seeds I got, it's hard to tell, but then your seeds are really small. I got three plants, one didn't make it, uh, so two did. And uh, yeah, a really beautiful, unusual species from Malaysia, um, commonly called peacock begonia, unsurprisingly perhaps because of the shimmering iridescence. Um, I'm also trying to propagate this in my highland tank. Uh, after reading it, it's actually a highland species, so it's used to cooler temperatures. So I've got one in the highland tank at the moment, but only a, a propagation, so only a leaf. Um, so we'll see how that does. My highland tank isn't that cold at the moment, it has to be said. Um, it's summer here in the UK, and the highland tank is, is getting daytime temperatures of about 17 to 18. 20 degrees on a hot day um, but I'm not sure as always in the summer in the UK whether it actually gets much of a drop in temperature at night uh, I'm hoping one day for the greenhouse of my dreams and we'll see how things go so yeah uh, Begonia Pavanina